up? It's me, Franny. Today's video is a video that I've been wanting to do just because I feel like I haven't done one in a really long time. And it is a Q&A. Well, I guess more of like a personal Q&A. I asked y'all on Instagram to ask me, you know, some personal questions, things you want me to talk about, you know, things about my life that y'all want to know. I was like, you know, I feel like I haven't just sat here and talked. Also, side note, my friend Lyra did my nails. Shout out to Lyra. She learned how to do acrylic nails. It's so crazy, like she learned how to do it and like she did them for me yesterday. I have my nails done, like I feel cute again a little bit. It is hot, I'm like sweating in my room slightly. But anyway, let's just get right into this video. I have some questions that I screenshotted. I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and answer them. Let's get into the itty bitty gritty titty itty bitty kitty committee. Yeah, first question, when was your first kiss? <laughs> Um, I think my first kiss was when I was in eighth grade. I think 14. I think it was 13 or 14. It was like a little peck. It was like the scary peck type of situation. Have you got anything you're looking forward to in the next few months? Yes. So music stuff is on the way. I feel like a lot of you guys have been asking about when my next song is coming out, my next project. Yes, I have music on the way. Like I said, because of quarantine and because of, you know, COVID, everything kind of was stalled. It was hard for me to get into the studio. It was hard for me to start working with producers again. But we're slowly kind of getting back into it. It's still kind of weird, but I'm doing what I can. I want to come out with some new merch. So I'm thinking of some, some merch ideas and it's like you can work on stuff, but you just can't really do anything with it if that makes sense i don't know this whole quarantine thing is just you know it, it really is unfortunate what we're going through i mean everything happens for a reason and yes hopefully in the next couple of months some good things are gonna be happening maybe new merch maybe new music i'm hoping that everything falls into place the way it's supposed to how are you doing at this minute genuinely i am actually doing really well i feel like mentally I'm doing much better than where I was about a couple months ago and I feel like I'm I'm really happy you know starting to get back into my routine and you know filming and working and just doing things like that what I was used to doing because I feel like my life was just put on pause for a couple of months I actually am very happy at the moment there are some things obviously that I stress out about get a little anxious about but overall I am doing really good right now I appreciate that question I'm doing good. Next question is, when do you plan on getting married? It's so funny because I feel like when you're younger, you have like such a, I don't know how to explain it. You have like such a specific plan for your life when you're younger. You're like, I want to get married at 25, have kids by 27, or like get married at 25, travel the world for a couple years, then have kids at 28. It's like you set like a time frame for each thing, but it never works out that way. It's just hard for me to think about when I'm getting married because I have no idea. <laughs> Ideally, I want to have kids before I'm 30. I, I just hope I'm married before I have kids. Ah, it's so weird to think about. It's like it's so far away, but at the same time, it's not like I'm in that age now where, you know, marriage is a thing and having kids and family stuff is just weird. But like I said, before 30 would be ideal. We don't know. All right, next question. I'm starting to sweat. What would you describe your style as? I definitely feel like I have an edgy vibe to me. I love the color black. <laughs> I love wearing black clothes, but I have been trying to be more colorful lately. But I would say I'm a little edgy slash like street slash a little girly. I don't want to explain it. I don't really wear dresses much, but when I do, it's like a big thing for me because I never wear dresses. Yeah, I would say like edgy street girly because I do have my girly moments. I think my vibe is like Haley Baldwin. Haley Baldwin's a really good example of that because I feel like she's really good at the balance of being really girly at moments, but then like she gets like that super street edgy tomboy vibe that I really love. Next question. Do you see yourself staying in LA forever? As of right now, I do see myself living here in LA for the rest of my life. Obviously things can change in a couple of years, but as of right now, I do see myself living in LA for the rest of my life. So I was getting a lot of questions about how I lost weight and how I've maintained my weight. A lot of people were like, oh my God, I've noticed you've lost a lot of weight. You know, how are you maintaining that? All that jazz. And I've talked about this so many times on my channel, but I'm just gonna like briefly kind of go about it again, just like for people who are asking and don't really know. I've been through it all. I've done crazy diets and everything, but what has worked for me is just eating healthy, eating clean, 
just staying active. Everything's about balance, I guess you could say. I don't go on any crazy diets. I'm always making sure that I'm eating enough vegetables, enough fruit, not overeating, you know, just portion control and just staying active. I mean, I will say the last couple of months, especially May, I was not eating as much. It was weird. I was like not eating good food, but I was not eating a lot of it. So I did lose weight and I did manage to not gain that weight back. I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't say that was the healthiest way to lose it, but I, it was kind of like I wasn't trying to lose weight. It was just because of what I was going through. I was just very anxious and I wasn't able to like hold down food. I wasn't able to eat. I kind of got back into like my normal routine of just eating healthy and working out and I never gained the weight back. Eating healthy and working out and accepting your body as it is with that lifestyle. You know, I feel like a lot of people go to the extremes and they want to look like the super skinny, tiny, supermodel looking person and that's not realistic for majority of people, you know. Only a certain amount of people, which is a very small percentage, have that type of body. Eating healthy, drinking a lot of water, having your greens, vegetables, having your greens, having your vegetables, having your fruit, and working out and staying active and just accepting what your body looks like with a lifestyle like that. And I think that's the most important thing to understand. As long as you're healthy inside and happy and feeling good, like that's all that matters. Next question. How do you find peace and happiness within yourself? I will say I have been through a journey of learning and trying to love myself and finding happiness within myself because you know there's just moments in your life where you you're really hard on yourself and especially here in LA it's a place that I felt like I've always had to keep up with a standard and how people look and how people act and stuff and it took me a while to realize that I don't need to look like everyone else because I am me and I think I've found my inner peace and my inner happiness I've accepted that this is how I'm gonna look and the people who are supposed to love me for me will love me for me I'm not not gonna try and look or be someone I am not. That's where I found my inner peace is just accepting who I am and accepting that the people who are gonna be in my life will be in my life because they love me for me. Getting deep guys, wow. <laughs> if you had $1 million to donate anywhere, where would you donate? I'm not sure exactly what charity I would donate to, but I think it would maybe be Pencils of Promises or Pencils of Promise. Not sure which one it is, but they are all about helping build schools in third world countries and giving education to children. I believe that every child deserves an education. You don't know who these kids are gonna grow up to be. They may be the next world leader. They may ne they may be the next person to discover something that we need in this world. I think every child deserves an education and a chance to learn and to be educated. That is like my biggest thing. Also, clean water. Definitely will donate to the Thirst Project as well. Everyone should have clean water and an education. That is like my biggest thing. Tips on how to gain self-confidence. I guess this is kind of like back to what I was saying before, accepting who you are, loving yourself, learning to love yourself, you know, just being comfortable in your own skin and it's easier said than done, trust me. It has taken me so long to even learn how to love myself a tiny bit, but I am getting there. And there are moments where I still look at myself and I'm like, I wish I looked like this, I look like that. I'm not saying here that I'm 110% confident. I've made a lot of progress and I'm definitely a lot more confident than what I was a couple of years ago. What are some of your insecurities? I think I've talked about this on my channel before, but I don't talk about it much. I'm, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. My one of my biggest insecurities is something that I just, it drives me nuts to this day and I've learned to accept it much better, but it is my forehead. I get nervous saying that because I'm like, what if people don't even realize it? And then I say it and I call myself out on it and everyone's gonna see it. I'm very self-conscious about my forehead. I feel like I have a very big forehead. I have been very self-conscious about it since I was little because I used to get made fun of for my forehead. And that's just something that I have to live with. For the longest time, I wanted a forehead reduction surgery. I was like, that's absolutely just ridiculous. I don't need to do that because this is how I am. That is like something I'm learning to love about myself. And there are moments where I'm like, oh, I do love my forehead. And then there are moments where I'm like, I'm going nuts. Like I hate my forehead, but that's just life. Everyone's insecure about something. You can look in the damn mirror and someone will be like, oh my God, my left eyebrow is higher than my right one. And you hate it. That's like my biggest insecurity. That's just being real with you guys. What's the best advice you've ever been given? The best advice I've ever been given is if you have a plan B, that means that you're not working hard enough on your plan A. Basically, you know, if you have a plan B, that means that there's a slight chance for plan A to fail. And that means you're not putting 110% into plan A. Just have that plan A and keep working towards it. What would you tell your 18 year old self? I would tell my 18 year old self that you are going to love yourself so much more in five years to not worry 
about trying to fit in, trying to hit a standard that you will be okay in five years, but just keep working on yourself. That's what I would say to 18 year old little Fran making her way to LA, figuring out life. <laughs> oh my God, this question was so funny to me, but I had to answer it. How was your first experience with a tampon? Oh my gosh. I remember this day so vividly because I was so freaking scared. I got my period when I was I want to say 14, 15. My period has never been like super heavy. Sorry, TMI, but I'm, I'm not, I don't have like a super, super heavy period, especially in the beginning. But I remember curious as into like how tampons worked. Cause I was like, oh, whatever, you know, I'm just gonna try it. I didn't even say anything to my mom. I was like, I just like did it or maybe I did. I was like, I wanna try tampons. And she was like, all right, go ahead, try it. I bought tampons. I would go into the bathroom. I put it in and I was freaking petrified of what the hell, like, I was so scared. I was like, what, like, did I, am I gonna put it in too far? Is it gonna get stuck? I was so scared I was gonna put it up too high. So I don't put it up high enough, right? And I put it in, it feels a little weird. I remember I was going, I went to go hang out with some friends who we were like walking and I remember feeling it like coming out of me and I like start panicking and I'm like, oh my God. Like I remember going to the bathroom, taking it out and like, what the hell? I use them now because now I know how to, I figured it out a while ago. I kind of had to learn how to put them in because I was very, very active, especially in high school. Pads were just not comfortable at all for me because I was playing basketball all year round. I did track and stuff, so I did not like wearing pads. So tampons were my best friend. Sorry, that's like really TMI, I think. But you know, girl talk, why not? How to know if you are surrounded by the right type of people. I think you know when you're around the right people, when they help you grow and they lift you, they help you accelerate in your life. I just have always believed that, you know, you feed off of the people you're around. If you are around super hardworking, driven people, that is how you are going to be. If you are around people that are not motivated, I feel like you are going to stay at that level too. I don't know, it's just being surrounded by right people and people that like, you know, congratulate you, hype you up, you know, are happy for you. I think that's when you know you're surrounded by the right people that help you grow and don't bring you down. And that is probably the best way that I can put it. How do you deal with your anxiety? This is not something that I talk about a lot on my channel just because, I don't know, I just don't like bringing it up. You know, I, I don't mind talking about this a little bit. So I've always, I've always dealt with anxiety. I've dealt with anxiety since I was young. You know, there are reasons why I developed anxiety. I feel like now I've developed a little bit of social anxiety, which is kind of weird. I've never felt that way. And when I mean social anxiety, I mean like talking to new people and holding conversations with people. And it's weird because I've never been like that, but I developed it and I've noticed it and I've kind of realized it. The way I kind of deal with that is, you know, when I am talking to someone new and I start feeling anxious, I kind of try to like tell myself like, it's okay, like just have the conversation and then it's done. Like I try to tell myself I'm okay, but in the moment it's like scary for me. I don't know why it's so strange. I'm still trying to figure it out. But in general, like anxiety in general, you know, I try to just like tell myself to calm down. And when I get overwhelmed with stuff, I like writing stuff down like things that I have to do problems that I'm dealing with and then I try to like cross them out it helps me like ease it just like crossing stuff out and stuff that was all over the place I'm sorry but like yeah that's like where I am with anxiety it's not like super super bad or anything but I definitely have it I deal with it but you know it's I feel like a lot of people deal with and it's just it's weird I feel like everyone copes with it differently you know kind of like telling yourself you're gonna be okay and stuff, but it's just easier said than done. You know, anxiety is real and some people deal with it a lot worse than others. Yeah, that's like kind of where I'm at with it and how I kind of deal with it a little bit. Did you always want to be a singer growing up? Yes, so <laughs> that's funny. Singing has been my passion since I was little. Like that was always the goal for me, which is funny. I feel like a lot of people don't know that, but I have always wanted to be a singer. I've wanted to be a singer since I was like, like 10. 11 years old like singing has just always been something that I love to do when I was younger though I used to like perform at like carnivals and like talent shows and I used to like perform a lot with my guitar and stuff And like I feel like a lot of you guys don't know that but that was like my goal like singing and even acting was like The thing I wanted to do and then you know, I went to high school sports kind of took over I started just doing a lot of sports. I kind of deviated away from music But then like moving back out here being around so many artistic people and I was like if everyone else is working on what they love to do and music and 
and whatever like why can't i do it too you know but music has always been the goal for me i've wanted to do music since i was a little girl music has always been my thing do you struggle to keep up with friendships no i don't think so i will say i don't have like like i have my friend group and then i have like other friends but i don't have like a of friends if that makes sense i have like my really close friends my close girlfriends and stuff but i don't have like so many so it's like it doesn't really feel like i'm keeping up with friendship it's like it's very natural with all of them i will say it is hard for me to keep up with new friendships i'm someone that not in a bad way or anything i'm just someone that it's hard for me to make new friends i like i just said like i'm i get social anxiety so i'm like kind of like closed off when i meet like new people trying to open myself up to new people is really hard for me. I feel like I just really, really have to connect with someone new to like really open up to them and open up that door of like being a close friend. So I think this is gonna be the last question that I got for y'all because this video will be just 10 hours long. But last question that I have here is, do you have any regrets from Twin My Heart? Um, no. I do not. I do not have one regret from Twin My Heart. I think Twin My Heart was an amazing experience, even though it was just like, it was the craziest, but also the most amazing experience I've ever done. It's funny because I'm like, how many people can say they've been on a dating show? Like I said, social anxiety, that actually helped me a lot. Throwing myself in a situation where I had to meet new people, had no idea who they were, anything, that really did help me. And it was just nice that I was able to do it with Vanessa, Veronica, and Neza. Like they're like my best friends. It was nice to have that energy with me through that process but no i don't regret it all i love the experience i wouldn't change it at all all right guys so that was like my personal q a i feel like i kind of got a little deep in some parts but that's what a personal q a is i guess also i'm sorry my hands are all over the place i don't know why they're just like yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on what other videos you'd like to see me do. Cut those push notifications on so when I upload, you'll know exactly when I do. Do not forget to subscribe. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.